or hi. Tegucigalpa, the capital. Since 1880. And the largest city of Honduras. The population minus 1,682,725 inhabitants. 2006 with suburbs. The city is located among mountains of the central part of the country, in the valley of the Caluteca River at the height about 1000 m above sea level. Tegucigalpa is also the department capital Francisco Morrison. The most widespread version of the name Tegucigalpa, a word comes from Tegusgulp. Language of Indians that in translation means Silver Hills. The Guatemalan researcher, Fabio Rodosa of origin of the name Tegucigalpa put forward the version that this word in language is meant by bird. There were also other hypotheses made by two Mexican experts Ignacio de Villagaribi and Alfredo Barrera of Vasquez who were that the word Tegucigalpa occurs from Tecastlicalapan. Residents of rich men are Tecatzincalpan. The place of the house of Senor Armando. The capital of Honduras is conditionally divided by the Caluteca River into two half mountainous and flat. The plain is meant as the part of the city located on slopes of Mount Alpicocha and several areas on the plateau of Camiagua. The main feature of Tegucigalpa, soft climate and fresh air. The city is constantly fanned by mountain winds, but also, on slopes of nearby mountains the pine forests bearing two inhabitants a cool remained. On October 22, 1998 waters of a southwest part of the Caribbean Sea generated the tropical depression which in a day developed into the tropical hurricane which received the name Mitch. Gaining power, Mitch rushed on the north and by October 26 his force exceeded 12 points, generating long winds the speed up to 290 km per hour and rushes up to 320. On October 30, 1998 as a result of this hurricane the city of Tegucigalpa strongly was damaged. The part of the district of the city of Kumiyogwa and also some other places along the Caluteca River were destroyed. Rains and heavy rains accompanied a hurricane for five days, saturating soil with water and leading to landslides through the whole country, but most of all, in the capital along the Caluteca River. Tegucigalpa was founded on September 29, 1578 on the place of already existing settlement of Indians. The initial name of the city was San Miguel de Tegucigalpa of de Iridia. At the time it was the center of silver and gold mines. The seaport of Trujillo was the first capital of Honduras. Later the capital was transferred to the city of Gracias in the western department Lempira. Further the capital was transferred several times to Tegucigalpa again, to Comayagua. Since 1838 when Honduras became the independent state, they several times changed among themselves in this quality. Tegucigalpa finally became the capital in 1880. The desire of the then president Marco Aurelio Soto to be was closer than one of the reasons of final transfer of the capital to Tegucigalpa to the mountain business on extraction of silver which was in 40 came from the city. One more popular explanation is that Comillag was strongly as suffered as a result of civil war. The city remained small and provincial up to the 1960th years. In the 1930th years the city of Comaigula on other river bank of Chalutec was included in structure of Tegucigalpa. 
Now the city endures, boom, going out of the colonial city and continuing to grow in high gear, but is quite chaotic. Today the city grows also thanks to economic migrants who come to the capital from the province in job searches and a better future. The city administration consists of the mayor and five advisors from different political parties. The representative of the National Party of Honduras was elected the Mayor Shittasfer. The International Airport in Canton serves as the main airport for arriving and taking off from Tegucigalpa. The origin of this name is unknown. This airport is often criticized for the fact that it enters 10 the most dangerous airports of the world. Because of his location near a mountain chain, his too short runway. Till 2009, 1863M, now minus 2021M. And difficult approach which demands the big commercial planes executed an intense hairpin to the left. Because of a land relief, the maneuver of a turn is carried out at low height. Efforts to replace the content with the Palmarola Airport. In Kumayaba, which is air base of the United States Air Force and Honduras now were for many years made. On May 30, 2008 in the airport there was a plane crash as a result of which the plane of Toka Airlines slid off a runway and crashed into the embankment, having destroyed several cars. As a result of the crash died 5 and 65 people were wounded. This accident was not the first. On October 21, 1989, Boeing 727-200 200 of the Tan Sosa Company crashed uphill at landing approach minus 131 persons from 146, being on board died. The President of Honduras, Manuel Zelaya, declared that within several years all commercial flights will be made through the Palmarola Airport. The main attraction of the city, Church of Iglesia de San Francisco. The most part of modern church is built in 1740 though the building began to be constructed in 1592. She has majestic appearance and an interior in traditional Spanish style. The Park Zone Park Central is faced by the Cathedral of the Archangel Michael which was under construction nearly 20 years from 1765 to 1782. It has the gilded altar and a carved stone cross which are objects of a pilgrimage of tourists. Premises of the old University Perninfo Universitaria Antigua now used as art museum. To the south of Park Central, the complex of National Art Gallery, a perninfo with collection of works of art of Central America towers. The National University was originally constructed as convent. In the neighborhood with the National University, the complex of the National Congress, the main government building of the country is located. In a quarter to the west there is a presidential palace in which the historical museum of the republic is placed. The special attention is deserved by Caipitonal Street or Pesciacadnea Street filled with shops, cafe and street shops. It was to the west direct cause Ian Chedi de Park Herrera on which south side the complex of National Theatre Manuel Bonnier constructed in 1915 and being almost exact copy of the Parisian building at any comic is located. In Park La Concordia exact copies of sculptures of the Maya of Culture de Copen who are stored in the museums of the country are exposed. In the northwest it is possible to meet the small dome-shaped church, constructed in 1732. Her facade is decorated with Bible scenes, and a unique altar having according to some inhabitants miracle properties is located inside.
and two quarters to the west of Los Dolores there is a mansion Willeroy, the house of the President Julio Lozano Diaz in which the National Museum of Anthropology and Story with an extensive exposition on the history of the country and small library is placed now. Morrison Square is also considered one of the central parts of the city and is used as the popular place of meetings and the venue of public actions. A statue in the center of the area is established in honor of the national hero of Francisco Morrison. In his home the National Library is located today. On east region of the square the snow white facade of the Cathedral San Miguel constructed in 1782 towers. To the north of Morrison Square the old suburbs which were once the area of residence of rich emigrants were stretched. Slopes of the hill of Cerro El Picacho are literally covered with old buildings, reminding of the colonial past of the capital. In the park, Las Naciones United is the youngest monument of the capital, a massive monument Cristo del Picacho Towers. 1997 from whose bottom the fascinating panorama of the city and vicinities opens. To the east from the center the respectable area under the name Colonia Palmyra where the most part of foreign embassies, luxury hotels and rich residences of the capital is concentrated begins. In the east of the capital there is a Boulevard Morrison, the center of entertainments of Tegucigalpa. He is often called also as Los Andiv. The boulevard borders on the main stadium of the country, Estado Nacional. The monument La Pocine to the south of stadium is constructed in honor of the end of Football War 1969 in which about 2,000 people died. Deserve attention the Museum of Military History in the Valley Park, a private collection of objects of pre-Columbian cultures of America, Salbancatlan. It is open from 9 o'clock till 15. Double O. In the Boulevard Miraflores, Natural History Museum in a complex of the National Autonomous University of Honduras. And now, with an extensive exposition of various ecosystems of the country. The main market of the capital, San Isidro, was stretched between the 6th of Venedi and Colleuno from River Puntcarius Bridge. Famous inhabitants. Manuel de Adela de Gamera is a composer, the conductor and the teacher. Well so far. Write comments. Read comments. Interesting people will tell interesting stories. All of good mood and good luck.